big storms firing up over the East County, bringing heavy rain, even some hail out there. Good yeah. evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Steve Price. And I'm Kirsten Holmes. The heat came back today, and there's lots of moisture left over from what was Tropical Storm K hanging around. Put those together, and you get thunderstorms. All right, check this out. A time lapse from SDG&E's Los Pino Skycam south of Pine Valley. This is from earlier this afternoon, and you can see those clouds bubbling up and gathering. And then the rain comes down. It comes down hard. It comes down fast. Yeah, you can see it happening right there on your screen. Let's get right to meteorologist Sean Stiles for the latest and our first look at that microclimate forecast. Hey, Sean. Good evening, Kirsten and Steve. Yeah, the thunderstorms really blew up this afternoon. Once the heat of the sun made its way down to the earth and created the lift in the atmosphere, all that moisture sitting down at the surface has now gone up into the higher parts of where the moisture is much, much cooler. That's Mount Laguna looking towards the south. And here's what the National Weather Service has got in play here. Flash flood warning from basically the Mexican border up to Alpine and out towards the eastern parts of Hamul. We also have a flood advisory east of that and to the north. And as we pull back out, you can see how widespread this is. We also have a beach hazard statement along the coastline that is expiring as we speak. However, uh, the surf suddenly doesn't get smaller. As far as what we're talking about here, look at this Doppler radar. I mean, this is a massive amount of precipitation coming down and you can see these bright yellow and orange returns also up in the Temecula area. So this is all tracking from the south and east still wrapping around the circulation of what was tropical storm. K, formerly a hurricane coming up the Baja Peninsula. And as far as what we can see, it continues to bring that moisture right up the Mexican Baja Peninsula here into Southern California. So we'll see that over the next, say, three to four hours. Temperatures will slowly but surely cool down as we get into the midweek. And in fact, we will go below average on our daytime highs. We'll still have some cloud cover and the moisture will slowly but surely be wrung out of the atmosphere. So by the time we get to midweek, we should be back to where we normally are here in San Diego with humidities in the 50 to 60% range. Right now we're straddling the 70 to 80% range. So that's where those thunderstorms are coming from. All right, Sean, thanks. And to get the very latest weather updates on your phone and forecast for the area where you live, just text the word STORM to 858-571-8888. We'll send you the link. You can also download the CBS 8 app for free.